welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i feel like today is a very exciting video i'm going to be showing you the complete before and after of our renovation series for down in the basement in particular today i wanted to i know i've been doing like renovation series videos along the way whereby i show you the progress but i really want to show you the difference from where we've come from from the very start to the very end in like a compiled shortened version so yes it's quite a transformation if you are thinking about doing a renovation in your basement i would definitely recommend it i cannot wait to get down there start styling up the rooms i'm going to be doing styling series videos as well so you can see how we style up the basement and yeah i'm excited to share with you the journey that we have made before i do jump into today's basement renovation before and after video i do want to firstly kindly thank today's video sponsor lounge if you've not heard of lounge underwear before they are an amazing retailer online that you can shop via their website with sustainability at the core i just love shopping from lounge and i also particularly love the quality if you're after some pieces for yourself if you're after maybe gifts for loved ones it's affordable whilst still not compromising on the quality i particularly am excited to share with you some new finds that i have got from lounge because they are currently running an august sale where you can save up to 70 percent off all you need to do is just click the link in my description box head over to the website start shopping start saving now is the time to do so i have my package it is already open because i have already tried all of these bits on their packaging is you can even see it on the front they're made from 100 percent recycled plastic they have really easy hassle-free returns if something doesn't fit and they do also not only sell underwear but they also have um, a lot of apparel which I already own a lot of because I really like the kind of comfort of them um, and I have got a couple of apparel pieces as well they also do swimwear so I'm going to start before sharing with you some of the comfy my kind of you know lounge apparel comfy loungewear sets I'm going to go in with the showstopper first and show you this because this is stunning this is from their intimates range which they've got lots of like comfort everyday styles which i have a lot of but they also have the kind of intimates range a bit more premium a bit more lacy a bit sexier and i picked up this this is called the mila body suit 75 pounds but obviously make sure to check the link in the description to see what you can save and it's just a gorgeous piece from their intimates range they do the mila body suit in sizes from extra small to extra large and the straps and everything are adjustable to be able to suit your body size and shape as well because we all have different body sizes and body shapes and the other underwear set that i picked up i'm gonna say underwear but it's kind of like slumber pj underwear if you kind of like to sleep in more underwear style pajamas and also like comfort then this set could be for you so this is the top that it comes with i picked up a large in this because i wanted it to be comfy so i did size up i'm usually a medium in lounge it does have adjustable straps and it has this thick waistband which says lounge so i can't tell you guys how soft this material is it's so gorgeous and it's kind of like thick enough like almost double lined so that you could where this is a little crop top and then these are the bottoms that i picked up to go with that top they're kind of like a boxer style bottom so again just for comfort for lounging around on your sunday if you're having just a bed day a cozy day and want to just chill out or if it's hot and you just want to be in next to nothing this is a gorgeous set i did pick up the bottoms in a medium and this is called the slumber pajama bralette and boxer and there's also another color actually there's mink and there's also pearl they are 45 pounds and they range from size extra small to extra extra large then next up i got this gorgeous bodysuit again they have this in different colors it's just got a little button down detail on the front which i think they styled up on the website with the button details open. It's very stretchy, very comfortable. In a medium, I picked it up. It's kind of like a thong back. Can you see how like high rise that is though? So it's not, you know, there's nothing worse than a really short bodysuit is there. I know it just digs in and it's uncomfortable. So this is the cream, but it's also available in black and charcoal and it ranges from size extra small to extra large. I think they just call it the, the essential bodysuit and it is 30 pounds. Then again, just thinking chilled vibes, chilled weekend, relaxing, especially in the summer heat. I got this matching 
set of these shorts and then it also um, has a crop top like so to go with it. So I got the top in a medium and I got the bottoms in a medium as well. This is called the Essential Crop Top and Shorts. Comes in black and charcoal and then this color which is cream and this is 45 pounds for the set. But again, that's full price. So make sure to check out the sale prices. And then they have lots of accessories. I really like their uh, like garment care bags that you can pick up for three quid just to put your underwear, underwear in before putting them in the wash to help protect them. So loads of accessories that they do. They also do some socks. So I got these two. These are the essential socks at 10 pounds. They come in black, charcoal, and again, cream. You get a pack of two and you can choose either sizes, small to medium or medium to large. I like being able to wear like leggings, these kind of shorts, shorts, <laughs> socks in winter and then just throw on some trainers with it and just kind of have the lounge on show. And then last but not least, I picked up a pair of joggers. I'm actually gonna wear these today. And um, yeah, cause I'm just chilling at home today. I'm gonna take you down to the basement, show you the, the after, putting clips of the before. And yeah, I'm gonna pop these on up today. They are so comfy. They're so nice and high-waisted and look how thick that waistband is. Now I did size up in these again to a large just for comfort. You've got the lounge kind of printed along the band there just at the bottom of that waistband. These are called the scrunchie joggers. They do do a matching hoodie as well. It's like a cropped version. But yeah, these are £55 and they are available in grey, ash white, forest green and charcoal. And you can get them in sizes from extra small to extra large. So that is everything that I've picked up recently. Again, don't forget to check out the sale via the link in my description box below. I'm going to pop these on now. Head on down into the basement and... Let's give you a bit of a tour. So welcome to our utility room. I am thinking of doing a styling my utility room video very, very soon. So I'll go into more depth into everything that is featured within this room. But for now, let me include some clips of what this used to look like. luxury and I'm so excited to be able to have it. Tumble dryer has just ended. I've got some more bedding to throw in there. Do you know what? Secretly, I'm actually enjoying doing washing at the moment with having this stacked system. Our units are from Howden's. They are the Fairford Dove Grey. We've got a nice big, big Belfast sink that I wanted to include. And then we've got the worktop from Granite and Quartz Installations, um, which is... 30 mil in depth and it is called Carrera, Lusso Carrera Quartz. The main feature of the room is something that some people think I'm crazy for, but we did install a dog wash within here, complete with Colbrook fixings, which I got from Plum Base in Bramall. And I got the same in our upstairs bathroom as well with all the brushed brass. We did also continue the theme of the column style radiators that I got from Best Heating on the top two floors down into this basement as well. The paint on all the walls is from Coat and it is in the color screenshot. And now the view from this side of the utility room, you can see that I installed these um, dryer racks essentially. These are from Sostren Green in Manchester, Sostren Green. And they're just really handy to be able to lift up, hang some clothes on out to dry that aren't suitable for the tumble dryer. This is our back door. I wanted a glass panel to allow as much light in as possible. And we do have a little window up here as well. Also had this little hatch inbuilt here. The flooring as well. I wanted to be 100% waterproof. So I went for firm fit flooring. It's like an easy click LVT system in this really kind of like dark, ashy um, colour. It's called CW1683. We do still have a couple of finishing touches such as the carpet on this stairs. We're still unsure what to do on these stairs coming into the basement. Because we underpinned the full property, it meant that we dug down quite a bit. 
It also meant that because the floor level was where the old door was, that we were gonna have to have steps into the basement inside the room. So any suggestions, by all means, please do let me know. Now moving out from our utility space, which if you've noticed doesn't have a door, this is because the space was quite narrow, so we decided just to keep it nice and open. We move into our corridor. So again, let me throw it back to before and let me show you what it used to look like. This is the door into what is the basement now. We get to have the carpet fitted, but we have had a couple of quotes in, so we're just making our final decision on that. Something else also to note is that we had this fitted at the top of the stairs. We are also looking to switch out the sockets and switches to potentially some more from Corston, like what we've got um, upstairs. But for now, we just wanted to get them in and we just had white done. So this kind of is like a master switch, this one at the top of the stairs, whereby if there's any lights on anywhere downstairs, if you just switch this off, it switches them all off. Then the view from the bottom of the stairs, this is how the corridor looks. We've got one fan up here, which is helping keeping moisture out of this basement. With it being a basement, we obviously have just had all precautions fitted to ensure that uh, no damp and moisture gets down here. And then in this space here under the stairs, we have talked about doing some kind of like built-in wine storage kind of um, feature, but that might be more long-term in the future. So initially I'm thinking of one of these kind of console tables, like a real rustic wooden console, ta console table with like an arched William Wood mirror, something like that, maybe a big vase or a little key bowl or something to have in this corridor just filled out there. So now from the staircase or in from the utility space, we now have the storage room, which initially looked quite different. We actually had a different opening. We had a door from here into one room and a door here into the other room. Whereas we moved the door back and kept both sections open. So let me show you what it used to look like before. into one of two ways. You've either got the main storage room or this little kind of nook, kind of like a storage section within the storage room. We also added this kind of shelf niche area which highlights exactly where the ground floor used to be, which was at the top of the shelf. We dug down that deep that obviously the original fittings are here, the concrete that gets fit underneath the original fittings in order to underpin the full property. If you imagine the footings are that thick, the concrete is that thick. So hence why we've kind of missed out on some space within the rooms to be able to accommodate the concrete at the bottom. So what we did with this space is we decided to kind of, rather than build this wall all the way up and waste all this space, to make it into a bit of a niche and a shelf that we will somehow style up. My initial intended purpose for this whole section here within this room is to potentially put a fridge freezer or a freezer at the end to be able to store all of Barney's frozen dog food because honestly it takes up so much space and it will at least then free up the freezer for us to use for our food. So yeah, it also means I can buy in bulk so it reduces the cost. Initial idea is to maybe pop some kind of freezer. I did think a chest freezer, but it's quite a narrow space. So some kind of freezer within this section and then the rest of it be for kind of cleaning supplies, but bigger things like ironing boards, uh, hoover, that kind of thing, whereby it 
you know, a spare drying rack. It can all kind of stood, stand up in this room and be stacked away nice and neat and tidy. So this is gonna be kind of like the cleaning nook. And moving from this space into what is the main storage room, I will say as it stands at the moment, this is called the spider room <laughs> because to be fair, there are sort of spiders that sit in the top of the corner of a room and don't move. They just live there until they die basically. And I think it's because we've got a section up here on the top of the roof whereby we have it all kind of exposed where our boiler's going to be going. And we also have a hatch built over that side of the room which when you open it you can see into the kind of like wall area where we need access to the mains, water tap and everything in there. So. I think that's why this is the spider room, but I think once we get some furniture in, some boxes, this is only going to be a storage room anyway, so they'll find their places to hide away where we won't see them anymore. And to be fair, I can only see two, and two baby ones as well, they're not even big ones, so I don't know where the big ones have gone. But as you can tell, this room is looking much brighter and lighter, we have now introduced a brand new window and light to this space which just that natural light just makes it feel less of a basement so it's a bit echoey obviously we've got nothing in these rooms so it is going to be a bit echoey and um, we have over this side again because of the concrete footings rather than um, waste that space because it used to be like an old fireplace kind of here so those bits are kind of like that we asked the builders to build a kind of like shelving system whereby we will also be storing at the top of that shelving system all of our kind of electrical i mean our wi-fi boxes in there the amps for the, all the speakers i don't know that's all the technical stuff i leave tom to do and then let me, let me move you around to the other kind of niche hatch access Cupboard. So this is basically a cupboard that holds all of our um, fuse box and everything like that and there's a spider coming down so I'm just going to close them and keep them closed. One thing I will just quickly mention as well with it being a basement, the way that it kind of works, I mean I've gone into more detail in the renovation vlogs but essentially we've had like a wall membrane fitted and some pumps fitted to be able to keep any moisture out of the rooms. So this here is one of two hatches which you can lift up and access the sump pump chamber if you need to. Again, as with the rest of the basement and the rest of the upstairs as well, we have gone for these column style radiators. This is the only one in the basement that is actually a triple column radiator. The rest are just double, but this is the biggest room and therefore the biggest room to heat up. So this pretty much sums up our storage room. I do have a couple of shelving systems already arrived that we need to build. We're gonna store all of our like Christmas decorations in here, um, cricket bag, kind of sports gear stuff, any kind of seasonal bits and just have everything organized and categorized on shelves in clear tubs so we can see exactly where everything is. Everything's labeled up and we're gonna keep it that way going to keep it organized. That is the plan anyway. So from the other direction of the corridor we have the doors leading into what will be the gym but when they start renovating the ground floor on the inside we're going to move down there and have it as a temporary kind of living room situation. So that's how we're initially going to have it styled up. So we have this room and then we also have a door here into the downstairs bathroom. So before I take you into the bathroom I am going to just kind of, it's going to be a tough one to show you this room because we've switched out the layout of the actual structure of the corridor and everything. From before, we actually had a kind of corridor leading into just the third chamber room at the end of which that room had a door into kind of like a it was just like a dead room basically and then in the what is the utility room now that actually had a door into a downstairs toilet which obviously as you can tell from the videos and the photos it looked just horrendous if I'm being quite honest with you so we actually knocked through to be one big bathroom of which you can access now via the corridor so excuse the fact that you might be able to hear the fan on the fan isolator or the on off switch on the outside of this door I actually can't reach it's too high up so I can't turn it off but this is what the downstairs bathroom is looking like 
Again, as mentioned before, we work for Colebrook fixtures and fittings, which we have loved on our top floor. So we decided to bring that into the downstairs too. We've also got this plain shower screen, which has a, just a slight bit of black detailing on there to tie in with the black towel radiator. The tiles we got from Mandarin Stone, they are called Cavendish Cream. And then we just have the toilet and the sink with a couple of the towels as a splash bath. Then as we come out of the bathroom, we then enter into what will be the gym, but a temporary living room. So I'm gonna flip you back to before where it was the third chamber room so you can see what it looks like. And note, used to be a window here, it's now a door. very much a building site so I'm thinking of when we move down here as a temporary living room just popping up a curtain pole and putting some nice linen curtains to still allow the light to come in but to draw the clothes so that we can't see all of the building works going on because this is the underneath of the new extension so the floor boards or floor joists for what we're needing new extension and obviously that kind of section out there and the steps up outside haven't probably been finished yet either so we'll never go out of that door we'll always use the utility door until obviously that's finished and um, so for now we're just going to probably cover it up with some nice curtains the nice two-seater against the back wall and then we've also got um we just bought a tv and a sound bar actually from costco and we've we're going to get two speakers for in the ceiling as well so we're going to add them in we're going to have the big 75 inch TV, so if we did want to use this more as a cinema room in future, slash gym, then we've got that option to do so. You can see that sump pump chamber too. This is like the kind of backup one that if the other one were to fill for whatever reason, or if it were to fill, then this backup one would always accommodate the, um, it's like just a secondary backup to be honest. And then the view from this side of the room is obviously the another column radiator, and the door out into the corridor. So that is how our basement is looking like. Hello, Bubba. You come down here. He loves it down here. I think it's so cool, especially when we have the heat wave. He just came and sat down here. It's brilliant. So that pretty much sums up what we've done so far. Like I said, we've just got a few little things left to finish off, and then obviously the styling of the rooms. 
and then we're all done so there we have it guys that is what our basement renovation transformation journey looks like let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to do more series like this following the rest of our renovation journey with the rest of our house like doing a good before and after so you can see where we've actually come from thank you so much to lounge again for kindly working with me on today's video again just a friendly reminder to check out that up to 70 percent off sale by the link in my description box below and yeah let me know which bargain find you managed to get your hands on i hope you have a lovely rest of your day thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys